Welcome back to your, <laughs> your hometown station, Neighborhood Watch. Kyle's moves always make me laugh when he's on the... Perry's a big fan of that song. It's true. It's true. I am a big fan. Uh, grew up watching Cops, what but you? now we're, we're... I did too, actually. <laughs> really? I did. It kind of gives you a skewed, I think, representation um, of, 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 you know, just how the... You only see one side of it when you're watching Cops. You don't... They don't ever show the, the chili cook-off or the... Uh, the the ride or the the interaction, the Nixles. Did I hear twenty eight different types of chili in yeah, that at the chili cookoff? I, you know, I'm still not over that either. That's insane. Kyle, are you you want to bring up the secret Santa Clarita station? Recipe? No, because I saw you grab for your gun <laughs> the last time, the last time <laughs> Perry brought it up. We all got so I am this. not I am not even coming close to that. But uh, uh, don't have. To I did want to ask you, but be, yeah. before we went to break, I did ask you: Did you have to like learn social media, basically, or did was there an effort at at the top where they like? We need, oh, no. do, we need to do this? Or no, there, what, it, what it certainly there? is a learning curve. You know, like I said, I've always been interested in, in the social media and, and the different things like that, as a lot of our deputies are. But um, Captain Mike Parker at our headquarters puts on an outstanding training for our deputies. They've trained over a 1,000 people, I believe, so far. Um, so between him and, and his unit and then some of our supervisors here at the station that, that had, you know, a lot of experience with that, there, there certainly is a learning curve. And, you know, we're learning every single day. You know, nobody's perfect. And, you know, every day we're picking up new things and, and trying new things. So it's fun. And I was talking to Captain Parker about that, who's uh, is actually going to the White House a little bit to receive a award about he that did. kind of stuff, right? He did. Last week. Oh, it was, it was last week. Yeah. And um, it's it's really about, I mean, you don't want everybody with a phone in the department, you know, kind of tweeting out. You guys teach a few people at each station. Right. right. just kind of focus the, right. the skill there. Uh, and then... Uh, talking about that and, and media representation, I want to ask you about something. Perry has some hard-hitting cop yeah, he questions. Is, he has some really true. tough um, stuff here. Between Perry and Kyle here, I got a news director and the jelly man. <laughs> and I want to ask you about cop TV shows. <laughs> and Perry wants to ask me about cop TV shows. Oh, uh, man, the hard-hitting questions. We the stuff people need that. to know. <laughs> exactly. In the Valley. I'm a huge fan of The Wire. I think I just got you to start watching that, right? You, you did. I've been mentioning you did. that. I, I'm not going to lie. I downloaded the HBO Go app on my iPad, and I, I started with season one. And it's, it's A little binge-watching there? Uh, I That's did. a new thing. <laughs> binge-watching. Netflix yeah. changed everything. Yep. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, but you were we were talking about that back and forth, and you were you were trying to get me to watch Southland was the show that you like. So just talk about what is the representation versus the media, and and the reality of the situation. I mean, does it create uh, you know issues, conflicts for you guys? Because I get calls from people who are like you know, you know, d- disappointed that things aren't wrapped up in a half an hour or, or right. an hour long segment. <laughs> right. you know? And it's it's like well, I don't know if that's you know it might take a little bit longer. Right. Than the reality is. <laughs> Oh. And you know, it, there there certainly is you know some dramatic element in any TV show. Um, you know, when we're on a call for service and somebody will say, "Hey, we need to do you know DNA and fingerprints and and uh, you know on on different surfaces and and stuff like that that they maybe will represent on TV that may or may not be necessarily true or or what you know actually can be done in in real life. So that's always you know interesting to deal with. But yeah, Southland that was a good show. I liked it. <laughs> So changing, changing topic. I like that. <laughs> Me three. personally. What about uh, what about Dragnet? I was I wasn't. That's before my time. <laughs> mine, mine too. I don't, I no, just, that's Get Smart. Sorry, I just did the Get Smart theme song. That's unrelated. Totally off topic. Unrelated. Totally <laughs> off topic. Um, thank you. <laughs> Heat. Top cop movie of all time. Right. No. Top cop movie is Heat. Well. Really? No. No. All right. Come on. Why have I not heard of this movie? Heat. Al You've never heard of Heat. I'm okay. sorry. Oh, My bad. Uh, he, he's a police <laughs> officer. He's he, doesn't, he doesn't even know. He's getting over. <laughs> yeah. So okay. we'll that scratch. I'll have that to out. check that out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, are there, are there any other, um, you know, kind of things that you hear or feedback from based on, you know, people's ideas about the media and that type of thing? What's going on? Because now, now we have a real life deputy as part of the media right now. Well, I don't know that I'm part of the media. Worlds are colliding. Well, <laughs> Right, not part of the media here here live on the radio. <laughs> Perry's checking his notes anxiously. <laughs> he's he's concocting some I've type got, of got some, paperwork some type of cop question. <laughs> um, no, but you guys you guys uh, <laughs> you were talking about the, the great shakeout too is another event coming up. 
about that a little bit. You guys just put out a Nixle report about that. Didn't you? I did. I just saw a Nixle actually as we were doing back. as we were doing the show here. Um, a Nixle report uh, did come through, or a Nixle did come through uh, on my cell phone via text message. The Great California Shakeout Earthquake Drill on ten seventeen on October seventeenth, which is actually going to be when we're when we're doing our next show. And I'll have you back. You're going to be back for that, in right? The, the third Thursday right. of the month. We're doing the first and third Thursday. And the Shakeout. What is that exactly? Because it's an annual event, right? It is an annual event. Uh, I believe that there was twelve point five million people uh, that registered in the Shakeout drills worldwide. Um, www.shakeout.org slash backslash California. I was just looking at it on the Nixel here. Uh, is the website. You know, disaster, we just talked about that a minute ago too, disaster preparedness. And that kind of goes hand in hand with what today's show was about. Um, you know, the Nixel messages, the social media, some emergency preparedness type things. So, yeah. And, uh, well, thanks for that, Josh. We're going to be taking a uh, commercial break. We're done, man. Oh, this, is done. The, this is oh the end, of the, this is the end of the show. Flies. When you're having fun, we got to take our break for NBC News. On your hometown station, thanks for listening to your neighborhood watch. We'll be back again on October 17th. On October your 17th at 10 a.m. 10 to 11 on your hometown station.com, AM 1220, KHTS. It's 11 o'clock. Time for NBC News on your hometown station. KHTS.